Shark attacks on both coasts are raising new concerns about beach safety this summer. New technologies like drones could make swimming less risky, despite reports of a growing shark population. Carter Evans is in Newport Beach, California, where some areas are still closed after a shark attack on Sunday. Carter, good morning. Good morning. That woman is still recovering in a hospital not far from here. But part of the problem is it's hard to tell if a shark is in the water unless you actually see a fin. Well, now researchers are working with new surveillance technology that would essentially give you an early warning if you're swimming with sharks. This may look like an ordinary jet ski trip, but it's really an example of high tech on the high seas. Shark researcher Chris Lowe and his team are diving into the ocean off Southern California. Tagging sharks with transmitters near popular beaches. They're tracking shark movements to find out why the population of young great white sharks is growing so close to crowded shores. They come in because there's lots of abundant food like stingrays and the water's warmer. A female swimmer was hospitalized Sunday after receiving multiple bite wounds to her upper body from a suspected great white. Last year, there were 98 unprovoked shark attacks worldwide, the highest on record, resulting in six fatalities. Lowe says he's not surprised to see a shark attack so early in the season. I think the rate of shark attack is going to continue to go up. There are more and more people using the ocean than ever before. The other thing, in some places like the U.S., we're seeing recovery of our shark populations. So you put those two things together, you will see more shark attacks. Shark trackers are also using drones to give them an eye in the sky. Scientists are also using underwater cameras to count the number and the types of sharks swimming by. This is a wave glider, a versatile research tool that uses solar and wave power to propel itself. Stanford researchers are using it along with floating buoys to track adult sharks they're tagging in Northern California. New technology is actually changing the game. It, it's giving us insight into how these big sharks make decisions. And hopefully by learning more about how sharks make decisions, beachgoers can make better decisions about whether to enjoy the water or just enjoy the view. Nora. Fascinating, Carter. Thank you so much.